I just booted. <laughs> oh my god, this looks insane! All right, so this is cool. This game has a little auto save feature. When you see the icon above display, the game is saving your data. This is sick. So, if you don't know what I'm playing, I am. This is my. This is Java edition, not console. I'm not making a an Xbox One edition video. That is for a later date. I saw a video. I got recommended a video on my YouTube. I got fucking. What did I just say? I got recommended a video. And uh, it was showing off a mod that recreates the legacy console editions in Java. And this, this is cool. It has control support. I do actually have a controller. I'm going to I'm gonna test that now, actually. Um, as you see, has mouse support. And it's it's the cursor from Chain No Way. Ah, uh, dude, no way. Will they actually, will they actually, will they actually be able to integrate that? That would be so cool. So it's got all the options. This is cool. This is cool as fuck, bro. Look at this. Toggles. Wow. Oh god, there's there's lag. This kept crashing in the other launcher, but I downloaded the mod run app for this and it works. This is a mod pack. It's called a reconsole. And I I install I download and install that and it works. Dude, how cool is this? Got the sounds. Rom's doing lost really look at this. There's a mods button. And it's got all your look at all the mods. It's got mad men. Dude, look at this. Old, ooh. Oh, old potion colors. Ooh. I did like the old. <clears throat> oh, there it goes. <laughs> Warning, has crashed. Visit the log. Okay, thanks. That wasn't help. That was not helpful. Where's the logs page? It said visit the logs page. Yeah, there it goes. I don't know what. It started loading something and then it crashed. Let's give that a second try. I didn't think it would load up, to be honest. I thought it would just crash because that's what it was doing in the AT launcher <laughs> but I download modern app and it works but I mean it was working you know <laughs> gotta love you guys don't have to sit through the pain obviously when I on actually when I actually stop stop <laughs> when I start recording yeah you can like see that I'm waiting here but you guys won't have to sit through the amount of it's a lot of waiting is my point <laughs> okay we're back in I don't know why it full screens automatically uh that might that be a modded download I don't know <laughs> Yeah, we're back in. Um, I'm just trying to look at the settings because there's shit I want to change. Oh. Steam edition. There's a Steam edition for the icons. That's cool. You could change the icons. That's funny. I'm going to make my Xbox because that's what I have. Xbox on one edition. There we go. Uh, don't display that. I don't want that. Jesus Christ. You can make the UI. <laughs> you can make the GUI. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> you make it so small. How do I change? Yeah, change it to auto. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. We'll mess around with that interface resolution. Oh snap! I can change the resolution. Yeah, I'm gonna just. It's got the interface up. Of course it does. It's supposed to recreate item tooltip scaling, in-game tooltips, animated character, of course the yellow text. I might cause some issues. Also, for some reason, by default, the music was muted. I don't know why I was muted, but I just thought I'd point that out. And look, check this out. They got the brightness. Get rid of those. They got the brightness. Oh, dude, look, look at the resource packs. Look at this. Oh, they kind of bug out <clears throat> when I scroll. Shit. Okay, yeah. Oh, shift. Okay, it's just shift and, and left click. Resource packs screen. Ow. Then, oh, I see. Okay, this is cool. Okay, play game. Let me actually play the game and then look at this. Play tutorial. Let's I'm um, got to go in the tutorial when you're booting this. You got to got to do it. As cool as the world it would look with this. I got to I got to see the tutorial. I it's the it should be the aquatic one, which is on PS I don't actually I don't know which PlayStation edition it's on, but I know it's on 360 cuz I actually I want to play that version of the game cuz I have one. It's except it just kind of sits on my desk and clicks dust because I have no use for it. Are the loading times just like console edition? It seems like it. To be fair, my PC isn't all that powerful, so <laughs> loading times may be, may be worse. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in. No way, I have two maps. Why do I have two maps? <laughs> I have two maps. Dude, the GUI. Oh my god, I got my skin. 
None of my hockeys, though. Oh, well, let's check this. Yeah, look at this. All right, key binds. Yo, it's got the... Look at this. It's so cool. Look at this. It's got... All right, let me do my hockeys. Toggle. There's a toggle cursor bind. Oh. It's straight up just toggles the cursor. All right, cool. This is weird to look at. <laughs> Yes, I turned off the smooth light. Can you do that in? I don't think you can do that in console. So I don't really care. I'm doing the physics like on my PC. I'm not trying to have it explode. Uh, it does. Oh. Look, how do you. Wait. H is the. Why is the offhand button your inventory? No. This is. Uh, my offhand. I never worry about my offhand key. Because I, I use F for. Uh, I did use F. What? They're separate binds. Never mind. E is now the inventory like it should be. Mostly because that's do the yes, the hockeys work. Of course, the hockeys work. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they work? It gives me two empty maps. I'm not sure what's up with that. And look at this. This is just how they display it on console. Look at this. Check this. This is not what am I looking at? <laughs> what it's got the coordinates. Yo, it's got the coordinates. Look at that. That's sick. Can I take a screenshot of this? That is so sick. It's I hope that capture like the. Way this looks because it honestly looks clean for a screenshot dude it's got the coordinates can i put it hell yeah console legacy editions didn't have the offhand i think that only got added when did i i don't remember when i got added to be fair but ah shit i fell my bad <laughs> i fell bro um this isn't function like the tutorial worlds though like you don't get you get um like the visible barrier there's no visible barrier here uh before you complete the actual tutorial, but the this is here. Oh, it's right here. These are here though. Throw pyrox. And see, we got the tips as I look at things, which is really cool. That's why I look at like, yeah, look the smooth stone. Doesn't tell me what a torch, but the torch. Tell me about the block below it though. Yeah, this is the aquatic tutorial world. Look at it and all. This this is great. And the fact that I didn't have to download this. This is baked right into the mod or mod pack. Which is right. I don't know if it's baked into the mod. What did I try doing? Was it a mod? I don't even know if it was a mod or mod pack. Um, this is based off. No, this is based off of a mod. I'm stupid. Whatever. I have all the links in the description in case in, if you guys want to try this out. Just look at this. Ah, I don't know what that was. Why did it do that? My render sense is set to a five. Should be. This also changes how fog works. So instead of it just being kind of at the end of your render distance, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, yeah, the uh, two statues. Oh, look at that. How the even looks different. What is going on? This is so cool, though. So I'm just like admiring this. It's even got the water. I don't know if it's the direct water, but uh, yeah, it's very cool. We. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Now, <laughs> by the way, this is oh, shit. By the way, this is in no way a one-to-one -one recreation of the Legacy Console Edition. I just like to mention that. There we go. This is how all the yeah it does. Look at that. It's got all the it's got the stuff for the conduit. How neat! That is very cool. Oh, you have to craft. Oops. Let me do that. Get. Yeah. Let's craft this. It's got the crafting. It's got the crafting, bruh. Look at this. I don't think they could have created this any better. And the scroll, uh, the scroll wheel works right. Where even is the conduit? I don't know where that is in here. Probably here, right? <laughs> I have no idea where the conduit would be. Uh, uh, I don't know. Where, I don't know where they keep. Oh, found it. How do I create? Oh, enter. I, okay, I don't like the way that is, but I mean, whatever. Oh, can I really do? Okay, time to let's make a conduit thingy. I uh, I didn't grab a, <laughs> an axe. Okay, let's do this. I got an axe. I hate how long this takes to break underwater. Just just break, damn it. Hey, there we go. I did it. Look at me go. Oh, I'm about to drown. Get me up. I'm about to drown. Okay, I'm good. I'm not drowning. Let's go. Do look at that. Top right. It's got the icon. And it appears in the inventory like it should. I don't know why Bedrock doesn't do that, but it's a separate, completely separate screen for any effects you may get. Yeah, look, fish. Those are fish. What kind of fish? Why aren't they moving? What kind of fish are. Oh. Hello, y'all. 
What kind of fish are those? I don't recognize those fish. Oh, look at the chat. The chat doesn't really appear like the messages, but I guess that'd be kind of annoying because if you don't know how Xbox, the legacy console edition, like messages would appear on screen. Just, just go like look, just go type in like Minecraft Xbox One edition and go to images and you'll probably see it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm too lazy to explain it. It's too much work. Let's go to, I don't know where to go. Where should I go first? <laughs> Inside the tutorial. I'm on Java edition, which is crazy. I would, they, Mojang needs to bring these back. These would be so cool. They need to bring back tutorial worlds because they'd be, they'd be so dope, bro. If they brought these back. Oh my God. The question is, do these regenerate like the console is probably not. They probably can get that for, I don't know if they can get that functionality. Cause, uh, I remember them like, re like the loot in the chest would regen and it, it'd be, yeah, infinite, whatever is in the chest. There we go. Freaking do you, uh, the hot bar was a little too big for my taste. But yeah, this is very epic. So this is very easy to set up too. You just, you can, um, you can either download the Modrinth app like I did, or you can use a, their, a different launcher. You don't have to use the Modrinth, but it's, it's easier if you just use the, oh, that's sick. <laughs> it's got my face and my, that is sick. That is so sick. And the chain, I wonder how, I wonder if they're actually going to implement changing skins within this. That would be so cool if, if they pulled that. They pulled off the crafting. But to be fair, that probably wasn't hard to make. That hard to make. Changing skins, though, in game. Oh, doesn't Can Essential do that? I think it can. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder how they'll implement the. Ch I don't even know if they'll implement changing skins. That'd be really cool, though. Speaking of skins, how do I. Where's the, like, skin customization options? Where's that at? Because, I mean, with the Legacy Console System menu, everything is, like organized like you got your graphics everything with the user interface the ui aka my god it's even got the i don't think java has these two options here that's crazy it's got i mean this is literally job like i said like i've been i just want to state it's job edition oops i didn't mean to put that on okay there i got levels for the ammo i just escape i want to repair this give me this why does the phantom membrane look it looks blue Okay, that's not right. Oh, the first is 1.20.4. I think there's a drop sound for items now. What if we do look at this? This is, yep, I remember this menu. This looks just like the menu from. It looks just like. It's kind of. Oh, shit. I don't know why that's doing that. That's concerning me. The game's gonna crash because of that. I, yep. I thought it was about to crash right there. <laughs> it keeps doing that. I don't know why. Alright, well, let's do this. Wee! Let's see. Yeah, there's no tilt, I figured. I mean, the video I saw was from two days ago, so... Yeah, there's no... There's no Elytra tilt, but... I'm pretty sure there's mods where you can get that, so... If you don't want to wait for the developers of this mod that recreates this, uh, to add the functionality for Elytra tilt, then you can just you can download a mod that makes it, and yeah, recreates the mechanic, I guess, or just the feature, whatever you want to call it. This is cool though. I mean, look at this. Frame rate's a little. I think the frame rate's bad because. Oh yeah, twenty. I could probably improve that if I get sodium. I like do that. That's so cool. And then look, exit game. You can have the option to exit without saving. Look at that. That's so cool. And you have a little exit game button. Look at that. I can exit the game. I do actually want to add. I think I'm gonna add. This was thirty minutes. That's good enough for video. But you know what? Huh. So it did. So it was just before. Okay, noted. I was gonna install a st and then yeah, install Stodium, but it appears it is installed. Okay, I'm back this time though. Uh, that was oh, dude, look at that. Oh, it's got the play button. Like, that looks kind of ugly. That's a Minecraft Java thing though, so I can't come at the game for that. But I want to add to a world. Do you okay? It's gonna is it gonna crash? Oh, it didn't. Okay, I don't know why it's asking for perms. Don't know why it asks. Or perms like that, but it's just like, hey, buddy, I need those. Yeah, new world. Open till I. I don't. I don't have any tech. Look at this. Got the resource packs. It doesn't come with any of the built-in legacy console edition ones, but that's fine. I don't really care. I mean, there's there's some. There's a few actually. <laughs> there's this one. Yeah. So there's a few. It seems natural. Oh wait a minute. No. The, oh, that's right. The, this is the mod pack. So this has. The mod, this mod pack I have comes with these pre-built in, but if you're using just the mod, you, I don't think you'll have uh, all of them. 
I tried to use the mod, the standalone mod, and it, it just it didn't want to it didn't want to work. So that's fortunate. But hey, I got the mod pack up and running. It crashed the first time I opened it, but it seems to be back. I'm going to hope it doesn't crash during world creation. We'll see how that goes, because I'm just going to you guys don't have to wait, but I do anyway. Oh, oh, I'm in. Uh, it gave me another map. The map is not supposed to be in your hand, but whatever. We can ignore that. So, like I've said multiple times throughout this video, this is Minecraft Java Edition, but it, it kind of looks like it looks a little familiar, don't it? <laughs> if I get to look at this, I can override. I don't have any intentions to override the fog. We're just going to change that to 60 because I don't have a reason to go over that. Well, that's I mean, I like seeing over that, but you know, never mind. Anyway, yeah, we got the can make it bright. OK, that's a little too bright. There we go. I know the smooth lighting being off is weird for this, but uh, I think if I turn it on, it, it might just uh, my PC going to burn, but it's going to explode, not burn. Anyway, here, let's uh, let's just let's play. I'm playing console Minecraft. What on earth do you mean? There's no just they added mouse and keyboards where that's why they updated it. <laughs> it's exactly why they updated Minecraft Xbox One Edition. If you, uh, if you don't know, I'm being dead serious when I say that they updated Minecraft Xbox One Edition because they did. Except it wasn't to add anything new. It was to remove the message when you went to help and options. There was a message below the below just like right here below all the buttons and it was like download Minecraft Bedrock for free. But of course, it's been years since then. So that promotion obviously is expired and they only removed it from xbox edition because they could be held liable for that because you could buy some you, you could still acquire physical copies of xbox one edition and your 60 probably because they actually sold physical copies um nintendo switch was only digital so yeah you can uh I, that that's still if you boot up the, if you actually have that edition of the game nintendo switch edition which does exist Unless I'm crazy and it doesn't, but yeah, that uh, if you boot that version of the game up, that message will be there. So yeah, a little fun fact. Fun facts with, oh my god, I can interact with this. I'm pretty sure. Could you interact with this on console? I don't even know. I never tried. Maybe I'll do that <laughs> when I make my actual console video, or uh, actually, yeah, actual legacy console dish video. Uh, but for right now, we have Java and being able to recreate the Java or the legacy console experience with mods. And that's why Java is superior. Actually, to be fair, you can kind of sort of recreate this experience on Bedrock. Just you use you have to use user specs and stuff. But you get it pretty close because I've done it before. I probably have videos, video file. Um, I probably have some footage on my PC just chilling. i me trying to do that and get a video of me showing that off on Bedrock. Maybe I'll do that again for Bedrock. I don't know. Obviously, the experience won't be as great because Bedrock does not look like uh, console edition, if that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is that the legacy versions of console looked more like or looked closer to Java. If like that makes sense. It it doesn't make sense. Uh, listen, just like you got to like look at the games because they just look different like vanilla Java and vanilla Bedrock. They look different. Uh, it's hard to explain. Listen, you kind of like it if you know, you know moment. I am mine too much. I got really carried away. I got too carried away with that, dude. Where's my, where's my table of crafts? Where did I leave it? Oh, I see it. Okay, give me my table. Of I love, look at this menu. It's so good. Look at this. It's so good. And I can navigate with the arrow. It's so good. I can't get over it. It's great. I'm sorry, what? I can make a stone <laughs> pickaxe with cobble? What? Since when? That's not a vanilla feature, is it? I can't be. I don't remember that from vanilla. <laughs> I don't remember this from vanilla. What? You can use black stone for stone tools and, and cobble and deep slate? Since when? Since when could you do this? Why was I not informed? What is this? Oh yeah, let me uh, let me test controller. I'm sure it works. Uh, the controller I'm using is a what the fuck is this? It's a official. Look at that controller. That is so sick. But yeah, let me look at the buttons. You know what? Since it's a 360, is there one of my old 360 controllers? It's one of the wired ones. It's 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 rock candy. Do the rock candy ones? That's also the rock candy controllers. All right. Yeah, it works. Here, let me switch the. 
Let me switch the buttons to match since it's a 360. There we go. Look at that. We got the color buttons. Actually, I prefer the 360 buttons. I mean, the Xbox One buttons are clean, but like the 360, I'm a color. To be fair, so I. Uh, yeah, the Xbox. Yeah, I have an Xbox One controller right here. You guys can't see because I don't got a camera. Sure, they got color, but like the 360 what's got more color. Like the buttons are actual colors. It's, it's, yeah. There's an auto, so it detects the controller you're using. That's actually cool. There's an auto option. I didn't know that. We're just going to leave it on that option. So the sensitivity is a little... Sensitivity is a little wonky, it feels like. But um, it works. I'm able to do things, yep. Yeah. It works. I can. This feels just like freaking console. Is it? Can I change the sensitivity? Because it's kind of AIDS. <laughs> it's it's kind of. I don't know what it. Oh, that drift. Nah, the, this controller does not have drift, bro. I use this, dude. I use this on the daily for my. Not really on the daily, but there's times where I'll, I use it a decent amount, and I don't. Or I use it when playing a game, and I don't notice any any drift of any kind. Any slick drift. And I've had this controller for years. This shit is probably like 10 years old. It's old. Because I got my 360 back in like... I don't even know. <laughs> I don't remember what year I got it. But it's old. That's the point. So, you know. Can I actually change the sensitivity, please? It is... Okay, I just bra I could not find a way to change the settings. For the controller sensitivity. So, it seems we're stuck with this. It might just be going off the mouse sensitivity. So it's not to deal with it. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm going to chop some trees. Something else I forgot to mention about the console editions is that what? The hell? This is not. Why is there another egg? Oh, this is a rube. It's the old. No way. It's the another egg. No way. Dude. Sick. Room portal right here. I, I thought your bro was in this shit, bro. Oh. Where my cursor go? I can't. I can't do anything. My game legit freeze trying to open a fucking. <laughs> I think my game froze. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think I don't know what that was. Anyway, there's some decent loot in here. Can I? That works. All right. Cool. Got two golden apples. I got flint and steel. Can I keep the fire charge. Yeah. Sure. And then we got. We got some tools. You know what? I'm going to take them because why not? They're literally going to wear off like nothing. How much damage does this do? Man, this sort of shit. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Check this out. They have the highlighted text. Just like, just like console. It's kind of crazy how they have that. Just like console. What the heck was that? <laughs> Man, there's a room portal here. It's got the old leather rack texture. I prefer this texture. I like this texture a lot more. I'm keeping this leather rack. That is a. He manages to win here. This is kind of an odd spot for Ruin Portal. But I mean, I'm not, I was always just gathering wood and I just, I noticed it behind me. Or I noticed it when I looked behind me, I should say. You know, give me the chest tool. Give me that. I'm gonna need that. For uh, at some point. Yep. Alright, back to gathering wood. Gab to gathering wood. Oh yeah, something I forgot to mention about this mod is that... There's music always playing. I don't know if you can hear. I have it lowered a bit. If I just go to my audio and turn it up. Yeah, it's a bit low, but I kind of have it. I'm gonna 50 sounds low. Yeah, music always plays. Always played. Yeah, there you go. Music always plays in this edition of the game. Or at least in the legacy console editions. It always plays. So if a track ended, one would just play. Um. And yeah, it's not like that in the in the new modern versions we have now, like Java and Bedrock. So yeah, pretty neat feature. I definitely would say I feel like it should be that way. It should definitely be that way, in my opinion. It should stay that way, in my opinion, because the music, micro music, at least I'm biased because I played Minecraft. I played the when I was playing Minecraft, there was only C418 making music. So and I prefer music over the new stuff. Not to say the stuff isn't good. I've heard some good stuff. At least while playing the game. I don't know if they have the tracks available to listen to on Spotify. But if they do, maybe I'll go listen. I don't know. Not sure if I... I just... 
I'm a C418 kind of guy, and the, it's raining now. Isn't that lovely? But yeah, I'm a C418 type of guy in terms of the Minecraft music. I need food. There's not an animal in sight because I'm stuck in a burst forest. Can I get out of here? That'd be great. Let's do that real quick. Dude, you would tell us, dude. Tips, do look at that. Let me screenshot this. Where's the sun at? Oh, the sun's probably over there. Oh, dude, look at that. That's a screenshot, though. Damn. Why does that look good? Get yeah, another. Oops. Well, actually, that might be good. Hey, it's a sheet. Yeah. I don't know why. I can't get the attack indicator to show. I've been. Tr I tried. It just keeps forcing to off, so I'm gonna have to live without it. I don't know if you're gonna fall I've been playing this game. I've been playing this game so long where it's had the co new combat update. I mean, I don't even need it. So it's got the hearts. It's got the hearts when you damage something. Ah. -ah. And that is where I'm. I think this is where I'm gonna conclude my little video here on this <laughs> there's a ah, skeleton shooting yes i switched back to mouse and keyboard for those curious almost killed me ah what is that anyway if you guys enjoyed this video and then be sure to give a like and subscribe like and subscribe if you enjoyed okay goodbye also i'll leave these in the description in case you want to download them i definitely recommend you check this out if you played the legacy console editions to get because I mean, this is cool. All powered by Java. You can all powered by powered by Java Minecraft. Thank you. I had to thank Java Minecraft for this. It's shitty as the game has been. Not actually. I don't know what I'm okay. Die. Really interrupting me. Okay. If you actually enjoyed though, leave a like and then subscribe if you're new and comment on what you thought and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.